What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we gotta answer a couple of questions today and uh, we might break some hearts, uh, but you're definitely gonna get something out of this as far as information and maybe a little food for thought. So let's go. All right guys, so here is the story. Let me break it down for you. My email inbox looks kind of like this. Hey Caleb, guess what? I love your videos. I love seeing all the Fox body stuff and I've decided I'm gonna get back in the game. The problem is I can't freaking afford it. If I had a dollar for every one of those emails, you guys would not believe the amount of money. I'd be on a beach and not freezing my ass off. Anyway, so that is the situation, guys. The unintended consequence of these cars going up in value is all the people that are kind of getting nostalgic, maybe getting to that place in their life where they can afford a, a fun toy or something like that, or maybe they're just coming back full circle and uh, want to get back into the game. They're finding out it's not like it used to be. It's different. All right, so what I mean by different, and I don't really think I need to tell you this, is the prices have gone astronomical. They've gotten harder to find. Um, and what's for sale many times isn't all that great. So what's happening now, and I covered in this in uh, my New Edge video um, a few videos back, is people are starting to look at other stuff. They don't want to pay $10,000 for a bragged out POS that needs everything. And I'm going to tell you guys, and, and again, this may hurt some feelings. Uh, some of these cars that are priced at between eight to $15,000, that's what the market's bringing. But when you look at it, you're going to be disappointed. And I mean, like pretty bad disappointed. So here is the deal. If, if you're just not ready, if you're just you're not willing to pay a, a lot of money for a car that basically needs everything simply because it's a Fox body. And yeah, simply because it's Fox body. Hey, ain't nobody loves these cars more than I do. And sometimes it, I'm like looking at them like, okay, I mean, that's what the market's doing. Hey, what are you gonna do? You know, it is what it is. So they're looking at other options and trying to stay a little bit close to home. So we're talking SN95, which is 94 to 98 and New Edge, which is 99 to 04. And those cars are really popular. Um, let's talk about some of the benefits of those cars versus a Fox body. We'll, we'll do pros and cons. So let's talk about the pros of a SN95 and a New Edge. And bear in mind, they're very similar um, as far as you know the architecture, the, the, the braking, the, the engines, the transmissions, all of that. Um, you know, the pros of a new edge and an SN95 over a Fox body is number one, more rigid. The chassis is more rigid, less creaks, less groans, all of that type of stuff. Um, number two, uh, they had better braking systems. Even, even the GTs, the base GTs had four wheel disc brakes, whereas the Fox body had a drum disc set up. Um, so you, you had better, uh, braking systems. Um, Part of this goes into rigidity, but the cars did handle better. Um, they were just, you know, as as generations of cars get um, get newer, they you know get improved. So yeah, a an SN95 or a New Edge out of the box handles better than a Fox body. Uh, the interior is uh, more spacious, uh, more accommodating as far as things like cup holders and uh, stereo systems, you know, like the Mach 460, Mach 1000 audio, um, things of those natures. Um, and they were also more convenient. Um, you know, they had keyless entry and things like that where the Fox, you know, you had to do the old stick the key in and go type of deal. Um, so there, there's a lot of pros when you're talking about a SN95 or a New Edge versus a Fox body. So what about the cons? What are the cons of an SN95 or a New Edge versus a Fox body? So the cons are if, if you're a diehard push rod guy or you just want to do a push rod, then you're basically stuck to 94 to, uh, 90, 94 to 95. Um, now granted you can swap, anything can be swapped, but um, you know, if, if you're a push rod guy, 94, 95 was it. Um, as far as power goes, uh, the, the two valve that ran from 96 all the way up until 2004 um, is, is a good reliable engine. But as far as uh, bolting on power and stuff like that, like a comparable push rod, not so much. Uh, there's like one head aftermarket head and uh, you know it's it's a lot to to change a head on you know change the heads on a four six versus a you know a comparable you know 50302 so you know that's kind of an issue there 
So what's another con? Uh, the cars are heavier. Uh, Fox bodies have gotten that reputation of being an ass kicking car on the track because they can be made to work very easily because of all the tons of parts available for them and they are light. Now, SN95s and new edges, while not a huge amount, are a little bit heavier because they're more rigid and they have, you know, more amenities, stuff like that. They got more going on than an older, you know, than the older Fox body. Um, so yeah, they're gonna be a little bit heavier. You're not gonna have that epic weight advantage that Fox body guys enjoy. And so another con is simply, and this may not make sense, it's just not a Fox. And the reason I bring that up as a con is because a lot of the reason that they're getting so much, uh, so much love and they're going so much higher up in value and getting harder to find is that nostalgia factor. Most of the time, for all the reasons I gave you, whether it's better handling, you know, it's it, they're more convenient, uh, on and on and on, that really all takes a backseat to the nostalgia and the feel that you get from a Fox Body Mustang. And that's what's driving them. The, the guys that grew up in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and you know, these cars were on dealer lots or, or fairly new or just coming out as they were young and getting older, like myself. Um, you know, that's that's what's driving it. And, uh, you know, an SN95 and a, and a New Edge, despite being great cars, um, that's just something they can't compete with. Now, they will have their own generation, and that generation is starting to come of age as we speak. So this is what I'm going to say as, as we kind of wrap this up. Um, if, if you're not completely stuck on the whole nostalgia thing, if it doesn't just have to be a Fox body, I think you're going to have better luck overall with an SN95 or a New Edge. Um, they're a little bit easier to find. You won't spend as much. They're a hair newer, so they're not quite as beat, uh, despite uh, there, there's plenty of beat cars out there. Um, you know, but it, you know, if it has to be a Fox, just be prepared right now, especially in this market. And I don't see that ever changing other than going up. Um, you're gonna spend quite a bit of money on the car and then you're gonna spend quite a money getting it, quite a bit of money getting it to where you want it. Um, ask me how I know. But anyway, um, so I mean, that's that's kind of where I'm at guys. I, I, I try my best to answer these questions as best I can, um, but I've been getting a lot. And you know, anytime I see a trend, um, in the email and, and all of that, I try to jump on and, and throw this out there. The SN95s and the new edges are great cars. Um, a lot of parts available for them, just like the Fox body. You can make them fast any way you want to, whether it's swapping them or, uh, hopping up the, the drivetrain that's in it. Um, there's, there's a lot of options just like the Fox. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong either way. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap this up. I'm not going to stand here and be totally long winded again. I appreciate the emails. Make sure, guys, don't forget Ford Takeover is coming up. It will be here before you know it. Um, so jump on uh, my website, thefoxcast.com. Hit the uh, Ford Takeover tab. All the info there. Make sure you got your room. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.